Okay, continuing on. Um, I know these have been just little ones, but they're still really good um, on their own. So that's why I'm doing them separate. The turn from judicial redemption to organic salvation. This is the turning point. Romans 5 is the turning point of the whole book. Amen. We go from judicial redemption to organic salvation in this verse. For if when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by death of his son, much more being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. In the resurrected Christ, this is his life that he who now indwells us and is working from within us to gather us into himself and saturate us with himself so that we become a rejoicing people. This is the salvation of our souls. It's not just enough that God saved your soul. First Peter 1 8, 9, whom having not seen you love in whom though now you see him not yet believing you rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory. Amen. Receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls. Amen. He wants your mind, will, and emotions to be permeated with Christ himself. Amen. He wants you to be full of joy in him and to be fully satisfied that he loves you, that he's taking care of you, that he is your portion. And that he's giving himself to you to be a source of satisfaction. Rivers of living water. He really wants you to drink. John 7, 37 through 39. Amen. All he cares about is that you would enjoy him to be satisfied. And through the satisfaction, your satisfaction in him, Christ would flow out. Amen. This is what God wants to see. God's purposes fulfilled because Christ is manifested and you're satisfied. Amen. This is what satisfies God and this is salvation in life. Amen. Ultimately, that salvation in life will conform us to the image of Christ. But more importantly, now he wants to satisfy you with himself and he's doing it. Amen. It's not by you deciding to be happy and reading a book about how to be happy but he visits you again and again and again speaking life into you shining upon you and impressing himself into you through his speaking an emphasis is entirely to get your focus on christ and for you to enjoy him and then to get christ flowing through you this is what it's really all about amen